This video will show you how to build a table of authorities in Microsoft Word. A table of authorities is a list of all the sources cited in a legal document that notes the page numbers on which each source has been cited. To create a table of authorities, you must mark each of your citations. After you have marked all of the citations in your document, Microsoft Word will generate a table of authorities that organizes the sources by category and alphabetically within each category. To start building your table of authorities, begin by locating the first citation in your document and highlighting the full citation. To mark the citation, you can either press Alt-Shift-I if you are using a PC, or with your mouse, you can go to the References tab and select Mark Citation. From the list of categories, choose the category that best describes the authority you have selected. For example, cases, statutes, or other authorities. Next, be sure to delete the pin site from the citation as shown under the short citation heading. Then select Mark. Note that once you have marked a citation, Word will add hidden characters to the text of your document next to the citation, showing you that the citation has been marked. But do not worry about this. You can toggle this on and off by checking and unchecking the paragraph symbol on the Home toolbar. Additionally, once you have marked your first citation, avoid using the Next Citation button to find the next citation to mark. The Next Citation button will pass over any citation that does not include either a V or a paragraph symbol, which includes certain short form citations. So it is far more reliable to manually select each of your citations as you build your table of authorities. You will repeat this process each time you mark a new citation in your document. However, the process changes slightly when you are marking a subsequent entry of a citation that you have already marked. To mark that next mention of the citation, whether it's a short cite or an id, you will start the same way. Highlight the citation, then press Alt-Shift-I or mark citation under the References tab. But next, instead of selecting a category, you will select the original citation from the list below the short citation box. Now click Mark. Again, you will repeat this process for all subsequent entries of citations that you have already marked. Once you have marked all of the citations in your document, you are ready to generate your table of authorities. To do so, go to the point in your document where you wish to build your table of authorities. Start by creating a heading saying Table of Authorities. Then place your cursor a few spaces below this heading. Next, you will go to the References tab, go over and select Insert Table of Authorities, and the Table of Authorities dialog box will pop up. To make sure that the format of your table of authorities matches the rest of your document, select Modify in the bottom right of the dialog box. Then select Table of Authorities from the list under the Styles heading. Select Modify once again. And from here, you can alter the formatting settings to match the rest of your document. Then be sure to check the automatically update box. Then you will click OK. Click OK again. And one more time, and Microsoft Word will auto-generate your table of authorities for you. Finally, be sure to update your entire, ta entire table of authorities before you submit the document, in case you have made any changes. Highlight the entire table of authorities, click the References tab, go over to the table of authorities and select Update Table.
After updating the table, your table of authorities is finished. Thank you for watching.